Alright guys, how's it going? I have a few little tidbits of news regarding WWE 2K14 that I figured I'd group together, so let's get started. First up, weight detection, as Brian Williams has confirmed that the WrestleMania match between Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant that sees players take control of Hogan will notice that the weight detection system comes into play, meaning a lot of Hogan's lifting moves will be replaced with non-lifting holds to give the match a realistic feel, as the big WrestleMania moment in this match was Hogan actually slamming Andre, which if you had a full move set and you could lift Andre before WrestleMania moments, then it wouldn't really make any sense, so it's just a little thing but it keeps things true to history and a lot more realistic. Jumping from the early WrestleManias back to the lingering question on the inclusion of WrestleMania 30, and although it wasn't included in the list of arenas from the demo at PAX, Brian Williams was asked about its inclusion again in an interview with MTV, to which he responded, I can't speak about that right now, sorry, but we do have other things that will be unveiling in the next month and a half, so that question will be answered. So once again it appears that there may be something in place to mark WrestleMania 30, but once again we'll have to wait to find out. One thing we did find out however was that 2K Sports didn't actually strike up a new deal with Hulk Hogan to include him in the game, instead 2K had the option to review Hogan's old deal with THQ that he signed back in 2008 which had transferred over at 2K when they acquired the rights to the franchise, meaning Eric Bischoff appears to have been telling the truth when he said that Hogan never actually signed a deal with 2K. It also shed some light on how Hogan was able to be included in recent games while under contract with TNA, as his original deal with THQ was signed in 2008 before he actually signed his TNA contract in 2009. Moving on from that though and back to 2K14, and users wanting to pre-order the game digitally on the PS3 can now do so via the PlayStation Store, which if you do so you'll also get the exclusive theme for the cross media bar menu as a pre-order bonus although there's no mention of the Ultimate Warrior DLC being included, so I'll have to check that out and get back to you on it. Finally, there's been a ton of off-screen videos taken of the demo that was shown at PAX last week, so make sure to check out the link in the video description for a roundup of all those videos, and keep a lookout next week as I'll be announcing two competitions for your chance to win a copy of WWE 2K14. So that's everything for now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time for more WWE 2K14 news.